All right, Jet. Another episode of Perez Verse. We got our guy, Danny Rappaport out here. Barstool foreplay. I'm very, very excited. We came to his home course, which a lot of people are saying makes not a fair match. I didn't say that. I mean, I think a good game travels anywhere. I will note that we are at his home course that he's played thousands of times. I've never even been to the state of Virginia. That's obviously neither here nor there. We're out here at my club, Keswick Hall. Keswick Golf Club here in um, Keswick, Virginia. Charlottesville, Virginia, just outside Charlottesville. Awesome spot, been out here for a few years. All right, look, Daniel, you're gonna have a doozy here. You got a classic bar stool first Bob to sports video here. Big golf history, guys, that you're getting here as well. Yeah, between the two of them, they're probably gonna give you the history of this course unlaid <laughs> in full detail. Unlaid? Um, laid out is what I tried to say, I'm sorry. Can the guy make a mistake from time to time? Yeah, Yaman doesn't allow that. Yeah, anymore. you know what? And I like it. Keep the fire. What is it? Keep the, the stokes. Stoke. You're over two. What is it? Keep stoking the fire. Keep stoking the fire, Yaman. <laughs> He's everything I'm not. He's an insider. Tall, skinny, short hair, put together, polished. He's talking to me about qualifiers this year that he's doing and stuff. I'm just trying to wake up every morning alive. Great golf swing. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work. I remember the first time I saw him do the little Euro step and I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. So I'm saving that for today. All right, they've got everything they need. We're gonna get going. Part four first. Oh. Just gonna do that all day, huh? Does. Just like a one yard cut? Yeah. Never gets it there. A little yeah. fireball cut there. They call that roasted peanuts. Money. Let's go, baby. Yeah, that was high. What a spank. Holy shit. Phil, so what, what did I call you? I was calling you Nick earlier. Call and then me Nick. Call me Some guy in the pro shop was like, Nick. And then he said, Mr. Stubby. Stu yeah, so Stubby. Stubby. Razor calls my last name. They kind of come around to the whole Perez thing. Yeah, yeah so I'll get Perez. FP. Hey, a couple fairways early for the guys. I hit more of a piercing runner. Probably ran about 60 yards to get here. I think he landed like right where my ball is. So this could be a tale of two games all day, but we're here. 65 yards. Let's try to get a couple birdies early. Stop cutting. Stop cutting. Stop. It's going to be right up the hill, though. Yeah, it should be good if it's there. It is. Come back. Yeah, that's tidy. Let's go, baby. Good start. That Rappaport's here to play. That had some English on it. Oh, he should. Oh, First, the French the say Anglais. You see the beaver tail he sent up there? I too? saw the beaver tail and I saw that backspin and Joey D. Welcome to this. Fed Chris. Here's the deal ticket. Uh, this What's guy could play some golf. This kid's good. Conversation's good over there in cart 42 from these two boys. That could change. They're coming at each other's throats, which, you know, if it happens, it happens. All right, he's in tight. Got to expect him to make that, so I'm going to stay. Uh, feels like a birdie putt to tread water here. Oh, he didn't hit it. Oh, you got to hit it. It's got some It's got some movement at the hole. This thing's on, like, a little bit of a slope. That's the preamble for if I miss it. Yeah, no, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> it's a brilliant move. I missed it. That was so bad. No, no, so bad. no, 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 no. Good putt. How clutch, how clutch is that? <laughs> that was a big putt right there. That's a momentum. I had a borderline seizure on the first one. <laughs> that was that was a big putt, FP. That was a big yeah, putt. That was a big the, putt. The, 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 the like lengthy par putts are bigger than birdie. Putts. I mean, especially after you like spat, that was like a Mito Pereira putt. You know what I mean? I was thinking about the Euro already. I can't do the Euro step if it's like less than like a six footer. Yeah, no, it's got to be like you know event. what I mean? Yeah. Like a just like a tap in birdie. No. Like like I two putt birdie on a par five. You're and not I, doing it. I have to have room to get a Euro step done. Totally. Right? Like yeah. I have to be able to walk and well, do first it. First you need to do like the like glory walk and then the Euro. Correct. And then walk so they're like, more. oh my god, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Get, he did it. it. Try it. That'll probably be fairly, right? Yeah, you're good now. Yeah. Yep. 
fairways hit. It's a good bet with Perez. Bet the over. Is he like a nine and a half kind of fairway kind of guy? 9.5 total? 9.5 total. Oh, I think I'm more than that. Get on the ground. Get down. Get on the ground. Get down. Get on the ground. Advantage, our guy. When did you get into golf? Your whole I, life? Yeah, well, my whole life. My dad's a my dad's a big time golfer. Okay. Not not like a necessarily a great player, but like a warrior, seven to nine handicap oh, who yeah. plays with his boys like four days a week, no gimmies, just, like just, just like lives for member guests. Open, lives for member guests. Yeah. My buddies who I who I play with, like my friends when we play with him, they joke that like every round with my dad is the U.S. Open. He's like every wow. single every single hole. He's reading out who's got strokes. He's reading where the match is. Can he, he can he play golf without a money game going? No, no. Can he play can he just play a casual yeah. round of golf it's with not his that, son? He doesn't really play for much money. It's just like it's he's got a competition. Have, oh, okay. Yeah. He loves he loves the competition. God, we all know like 60 men like of that course. at every club. It's he a goes it's to, a personality yeah. type. We play with danger. <laughs> we play with danger. We're not common. Well mentally. we're bad golfers, Bob. Yeah, but we're not if you know the shit going on in my head when I'm on oh, the Dude, I feel like I need therapy on the golf course half the time. Tight, so you've been playing your whole life? Yeah. You were out in the West Coast, right? That's where you're from? Yeah, so I grew up in LA. I okay. uh, went to school in Chicago. I like, kinda try to half walk on. It wasn't, they were, okay. I went to Northwestern, they were good. good. It's the program Luke Donald built. Luke Donald built that program. Yeah, that's right. Or not this Patrick went yeah. there. So I remember I was sending the coach my stuff and he's like, oh, we got this British guy, like Fitzpatrick. I'm looking him up and he was good. He was like the number like two or three junior in England. So good, but nothing crazy. Sure. And he wins the British boys that summer. And he qualifies for the British Open, not by like winning. He like went to a qualifier. Just went to a qualifier, got in. Got in, made the cut, was low am. And then he won the USAM that summer before college. So that was before. I was wondering if that was in college yeah. before. Did the coach, do you think the coach ever worried like this dude's going to fucking leave? So like, the story is that Matt, when Matt was like that junior year when I said he was like number two or three, he sent all of his stuff to like Stanford, Florida, Oklahoma State, and sure. they didn't want anything to do with him. So he committed to Northwestern. And he wasn't. And he's like a dude, gritty British that's, guy. That's, so he's like, fuck those goes, guys. Man. Yeah, like, you didn't give me time of day then. You can give me exactly. time of day now. Unlike these fucking US kids. Yeah. When the Oklahoma State calls a week before he starts to show up, they'll Literally. fucking lunch. Yeah, you. exactly. Unbelievable. We're looking at a third shot, unfortunately. Um, I think that putt on the first might have rattled me a little bit. <laughs> Gotta cut something around this tree, start it left, let it bleed, and, and hopefully get up and down for par. Yep. Cut. Cut. That's fine there. Cool. Alright, we're back in play. Gotta get up and down for par. Just a little layup here, Binyamin. Here. Alright. Yeah, so angles game. I'm ready for a car curl. I don't know about you. This is back. This is back. Is there any room left of it or left. is it? Okay. There's a little bit of room left. Yeah, we gotta put one close if we're gonna have any sort of chance on this hole. I'm aiming right at your guy. Is that a good line? Good line. Do I yell or he knows? Oh, he knows. He knows? He knows? He knows. He knows. Okay. he knows one of these days. Okay. Oh, that looks good. He won. He the one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that bounce so much. Oh, I don't like where his camera is. The bounce is weird, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Jet, you know, you can lay up to any number you want, and then somehow you always seem to lay up to a fucking in-between number. Oh, that's a nice play. Go a little. Short, I think. Damn. Yeah, it took a little too much off that. Like, when I watch Justin Thomas and how slow he swings with his arms, it's hard to hit it flush, swinging that slow with a wedge. It to be really good. You know what I mean? Yeah, you your bottom control has to be perfect. Yeah. And they commit through the follow through. Yeah. A lot of people want to take something off of it yeah. and they don't finish. Right. Where it's really you need to take something off of it on the back. You don't need to take it off on the through. This is when play. Stubby pounces. It happens right now. This is where he pounces. Rappaport off the green. I think he thinks it's on the green. But hey, he's off. He needs a big shot. I love you, ticket. Go press. Got banged. It banged you? Got banged by the dirt. Love guys with Dell. Beautiful place, beautiful club. Do it. Do it. Lovely yeah. shot. Good Fine. shot, FD. Good par. Good. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Well, it's a little bit of a barren lie, and uh, we're a little bit in shaky mode, so I'm putting it. Um, it looks like it's going to go right a little bit. Just got to judge the speed right. It's easy with these things to leave it short. We got to really commit to getting it through, the, through this stuff. Big. Yeah, I mean, look, it's wetting over this putt now. Here's could be a big one here for Perez. Long way to go. 
That man ain't rattled. I can assure you that. Get down there. Get oh, down there. Oh, right in the hole. Nice seven. Really good stuff there. Yeah, boy. Sometimes Keswick just comes up and bites you. I'm used to sevens on par fives. <laughs> it's a common occurrence. No, there's no practice swing. There's no, there's, it's just, I'm just going to go and hit that shot. I love hitting that shot. I, Dan, I don't really I love, love it anymore. I love a driver anywhere between 270 and 210. Got to get down. That's going to be trouble again. Obviously growing up a golfer. Yeah. What got you, were you just always like, I wouldn't say golf nerd. I have a little golf nerd in me, architecture, Definitely. that type of stuff where you kind of always grew up with the history of the game. Yeah. Architects, great golf courses, championships, those sort of things. Yeah, I mean, I was lucky. Like, I, you know, I grew up playing a good golf course. My dad was, you know, we, we, he took me to some cool places. So from a pretty young age, I learned, I learned at a very young age to socialize with middle-aged men and to Smart. appreciate good golf courses. Yeah. That was, that was sort of the upbringing. I was always a big hit with my, uh, with my friend's parents. You know, you, you learned, I, we all know that guy. You learned the dad jokes. We all jokes. know that guy. You learned yeah. the dad jokes. Every mom, age. every guy's mom loved, loved, oh, Dan's got to love yeah. Dan. Oh yeah. He always, he always Dan's comes in and talks best. and you know, he's so nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's so nice. They're rolling and fescue. <laughs> That looks like they're looking for my golf ball, Bobby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, I think I might have been in there the other day. Come yeah, to think about it. Oh, there it is. You got it? Yep. Oh, does he have an opening? I have an opening. He has big, an opening. We got a big clump in front, but there's an opening. He yanked it a little left, hit it well. Um, he's got it in the long stuff. He's got an opening and an opening in the long grass. Oh, I put the tree. Did it help or hurt? Might have helped you. Let's go. There it is. Let's go, FP. I'm a golf Come shot. On. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. it. I love the tennis guys. Yeah. What? What? Yep. 66. Front pin. Good bounce. Good bounce. Oh, I took too much off with the Yaman. Technique was really good. Yeah, it sounded like a good strike. That is the last read Rappaport's gonna want. Hey Rappaport, whatever his read is, you don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I, I was gonna know. ask him, but I saw your face. Oh, a little run down the hill. It's a good pot. Good four. It's a great four. Hot. Go. That's good. All right. That's love is what that is. Go FP. All right, couple fours for the young men. I think he is uh, plus two, I'm even. Those are kind of, that's the soft handshake opening that Keswick Hall gives you. Now we're into a little bit of the teeth of the golf course. We call Ticket the par three poppy. Okay. He's a par three guy. He goes up to the to the, to the the hole and, yeah. he, and he loves it. He loves it. He hated it and he's really, really owned it. He's embraced he's it. He's embraced that he's the poppy. You got to. It's what he's got. I mean, look, he's, it's what he's, he's got. Up, he's going up there. Oh, he's going up there. He's going and up he'll there. let you know beforehand he usually yells poppy all the way down. The fact that he was going to give a read to D-Rap is kind of <laughs> the sickest thing that I've ever heard. Are you guys talking shit about me behind my back into my face? What? You're talking shit right in front of me. Please do it where I can't, can't hear or don't know. <laughs> Thoughts on the FP's game early? Uh, it's kind of what I expected, you know? Not a lot of fireworks yet, but just fairways and greens, very straight. A lot of one yard cuts, gets up and hits it. Yeah, you know, when they say don't meet your heroes. <laughs> I met my hero and he's playing like my hero. It's cotton trying to be right there, Dan. There's a lot of wind. There's a lot of wind up there. Alright, got green to work with. Drop. Get down on that line. Get down. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't hate that one bit. Got a little too much juice. Um, I think it gusted on me. That's what Dan said. I didn't say that. Dan said that. Oh. Very nice. Shot at me. We're a little short-sided. I don't love, I don't love the miss. But if we hit it solid, I think there's enough green where if it has a little bit of check, it can just kind of trickle out. Like 
There you go. All right. Rattles around. I was I was rooting for that one to go in. Oh, I was rooting for that one to go in. God darn it! It's a bad bogey. Stupid bogey. Rattles around, then he gets the shoes roll. I am one over after the bogey on the last, and Dan is two. There's a little match going. That's perfect. That's literally perfect. She's got it. That's She's got gone. her. She's got her. You saw her that way. Yeah, in the water. Are you gonna like slow mo it and like get it? Just uh, out here enjoying that Virginia breeze that I've gotten so used to. Breaking news. Fairway hit. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. The ball. It was disrespectful. I think we're up to a to eleven and a half. I was a Go Puff Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame for sure. Yeah, Bobby's in the in the cameo hall. He of is fame. in the cameo hall of fame. The guy's unbelievable, dude. He's a horse. Dude, check every morning at eleven a.m. and he's got fifty cameos for the day already done. He gets up at seven a.m. Gets a cup of coffee and he just bangs out four cameras. Nice. 169, uphill, back pin, little wind in the face. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Zach Alfanakis, hangover meme, numbers, equations. Got it. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. Right there. Go. Right there. Go. Yeah. Oh, that could be cool. I think it, it carried on the green, right? That could be cool. Yeah. It's got all the symptoms and makeup of a cool off shot. Guy, Back pin, you said. Long is no good. So you knew you wanted to kind of get into sports journalism yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. What kind of made that pivot happen into golf? So there was a there was a part of the program at Northwestern called Journalism Residency, which was basically like an externship. So we were, back, we were on the quarter system, so you would take a quarter off and you would go work somewhere. So I did mine at Sports Illustrated my senior year, just working nights and weekends on the website, just really like aggregating stuff, nothing fancy. Got a return offer, and I, I got there, and at the time, Sports Illustrated owned Golf Magazine, so they handled all of the golf content, and then I started hearing rumors that they were for sale. So they got sold, and right when I heard that they were getting sold, I went up to my boss, I was like 24, and I was like, hey, I, like, I've been playing golf my whole life, I'd love golf, I'd love to like write about golf. And he said, great, you go to the Players' Championship next week. I went there, you know, I had a good week, and then kind of we were off from there, I was just doing golf. And then I got a call from Golf Digest about two years later, they had just signed uh, Tiger to a content deal. Where he, yeah, we did that? all those like episodes. He did all those episodes yeah, awesome. and he did and they said, uh, you know, we're looking for a guy to be kind of a consistent face for Tiger who kind of like goes to all those things and that's writes it. all his that's content. A, what, a, what a dream phone call. Crazy. It's like, are you guys fucking, I remember are you I was fucking on the, with me? I was on the LIRR headed to my friend's house in the Hamptons and we got fucking hammered that night. That's Because I remember they said, you, the journalism face for Golf Digest for Tiger. Yeah, they are said, uh, I remember me? the call. He said, you want to like, you know, follow Tiger Woods around the world. I said, yeah. He goes, all right, you're going to Japan in two weeks. And then we're off. That's so tight. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I feel super lucky. I just kind of moved one in here. Middle of the green, uphill putt. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I'm working the ball, which is good. Anytime you see me um, like take a little bit off of drivers and work stuff, like third hole, that driver where I'm like flaying one. If I'm doing shit like that, it's a good sign. Only 25 yards short, so the distance control is very good. Looks like it's going to go right. It's just, just got to judge the speed here. Just got to get a good roll on it. A little too much. You bleeding? Yeah. Pick you bleeding? Scab. I picked a scab. This guy's had a lot going on this trip. Allergies, scabs. I'm not a circus freak. Fighting his own demons. It's disgusting though. What are you want to do? You brought it up. <laughs> You're bringing a cloth and wiping yourself on the Make green. Sure they don't bleed on the green. Yeah, he's a sick. He's an absolute sicko. But you know what, ticket? He's our sicko. Right edge. Oh, it really went left. Sit. Par. Thanks. We got about, what do you think, at feet? Six feet? Six feet for par? Damn, if that's six feet, I'm fucking four six, dude. So you think it's more or less? Yeah, I didn't get that either. <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight feet. Uh, like eight feet. I think it's more. Is that six feet? I don't, I don't know. I, I still don't really understand. If it's I was, more. If I were to lay down. It's more. It's about six, six. six. Okay, yeah. my yeah. bad. Gotta turn. Too much. Borrowed too much. All right. Mm. Another boat. Mm. All right, five there for Dan, four for me. 
Do you have a Dan? Danny? Dan. 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 Danny my whole life. But D. I, D. Yeah, rap. D. D. Tiger calls me D. Calls you D? Yeah. I'm calling you D. That's pretty cool. I'm absolutely calling you D. Yeah. You have to. Yep. Well, that solves that. That does that. Tiger calls him D. Or D. I call him D. <laughs> Jet's really cooled down a little bit. Yeah, he has. I kind of miss the fire. No, I trust me. Don't. Yeah. Careful what you yeah. wish for, Joey Day, because that can come back and that can bite you. That right fiery in. jet. Let me tell you, you really, you'd whip me into shape. Yeah, you don't want that. You gonna fart? <laughs> I'm in it. See there, you got the fart? Nope, that's all we needed. <laughs> come on. So close. Bugs flew in my fucking mouth. That's what that was? <clears throat> Bug just flew directly into my throat. Yeah. I feel like I don't even like need to react or anything. I'm in front of you. I'm, I'm the fucking worst. I could go anywhere else but where I went. <laughs> God damn it, dude. The best part about him calling me D is that I'm pretty sure he doesn't know the other two letters. <laughs> you think he knows the D? I think he just, he just D. doesn't know what the name think, is. I mean, think about how many men or think about how many people Tiger has met in his life. Oh. He doesn't have space for. I feel very fortunate to have one letter. The fact that he knows your name starts with a D is oh. pretty fucking good. If you watch the press conference, he'll be like, oh, you know D? It's, it definitely makes me feel something. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <clears throat> you good? <coughs> Jeez, get this some, you need some water? Throat fucked me. <laughs> Money. Well, that's fine. Pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, it's rough. It's yeah. fine. Right. Water really helped. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm back. It's gone now? It's gone. I think I swallowed him. Hopefully he wasn't poisonous. He put up a good fight. He's been dead, dude. I, I, my fucking tops were just beating the shit out of him in there. That's tracking. Go. Be sexy. Wow, we'll short it. So short. If you don't like that lie, then you just... You don't like lies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Such a good one. Man, that came out hot. Jesus, oh, dear. Oh, okay. Don't, don't eat, don't, don't do that. Don't do the like, oh, it's okay. Maybe it was always the drop. You think I should have taken the drop? I don't know. I think Monday morning quarterback. Pretty easy thing to, to, to Peter back Peter on. King, Monday morning quarterback. Peter, Peter King said you got to take the drop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. I've got, I've got. Peter King says there's a cover too there. Yeah, you it's the like, he's like, look. Chris Sims was a good quarterback in the right system. <laughs> yes. Into the green. Ball sitting down. Gonna have to land on the front edge and let it roll. It's not gonna have any sauce from here. Simmer. Sim, simmer. Simmer. Sim. All right. All right. Up to a That wasn't bad. Take that. Land it softer than I thought. What's going on with you, man? Yeah, I mean, I'm struggling here. Not as much as this guy. You heard his voice? Classic frog in the throat. <laughs> We're looking at a, an uphill, an uphill part putt that I think could give me some momo if we make this. We need something. We need something to change the juju around. Let's go. Good putt. Just a bogey train. Just ran out of speed, huh? Roll right Bad golf. All right, let's bring it home. Yeah, it's three holes left. It's, it's, a, it's a pillow fight. It's a fucking pillow it's fight. It's a pillow fight. Ah. Uh, if I went to Northwestern. Okay. How long do you think I'd last till I flunk out? How long would you last at what, Harvard? I don't think you'd get into Harvard, Bob. Well, yeah, but that's why it's a it's a hypothetical question. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> well, I don't know if I would get into Harvard. No, I wouldn't get into Harvard. 157 should be a little help, if anything. Yeah, it's turning over a little. Good shot. Oh, shot. I got a Same. nice kick. Right. Yeah. That looks good. Oh, good tempo. Really freaking good. Be the number. Be the number. That looks good. Very oh, nice yeah. shot. I didn't like that. Oh. Fine. What? There we go. Yeah. I think that's me close. Damn. I think that's me close. Still a little bit of PTSD from the first hole, but we're going to try to wipe it clean. Look, 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 look. No, no, I've been doing it right, though. No, put your hand Just here, okay. and then first, put your hand, and then the hold the two together. Weird, and now it, the wind won't blow it. Yeah, but then you can't this see the good. logo. But that's not the point. The point is so they don't hear the wind. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. You you would have no idea how to hold Still the flag. It's easy to hold the flag. It's as far as I go down. Yeah, you need a hell of a catch. I can't go lower than this. Okay, oh, nice spot. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Okay, gentlemen. Just, it might just not happen today. I could watch the Jet and Brendan Jones talk AdSense all day long. Yeah, when Jet gets along with other editors, it's, it's true. He was picking Colin Ross's brain oh, for a it's good such a good that whole evening. It was like, like there was when, no one else that existed. When Brendan and Jet sat down at the lunch table, there was such a mutual respect. Like they didn't say anything to each other, but they just looked at it's each like other. It's like a head nod. Yeah, it was just like a tip of the cap. Like there's just mutual respect there. When Jet really respects somebody, he doesn't bury him. <laughs> it doesn't happen to many people, man. Really, it's very few and far between. Brennan Joe's on that list. It's, auto it's automatic. It's automatic. Yeah, man. I played golf D3 to start, a place uh -huh. called Hampton, Sydney. All guys school in Farmville, Virginia. Farmville? Farmville, Virginia. And then I transferred to University of Richmond. Okay. Go Spiders. Spiders, yeah. Go Spiders. They're in the is, tournament a lot. Which is my team. Both my parents went there. And then I've got asked to leave on two separate semesters. Politely or? Uh, I mean, as politely as it could have gone, I would yeah. say. And then I ended up graduating from VCU. You and Chaka Smart. I don't fuck with, I don't fuck with the Rams. No. Nah, Spiders. Spiders fucking until I die. Got it. We are, you are. A little wind at the back. It's only 200 to come Should be a bunker. back pin, yeah. Nah, oh, you should lay up, bro. It should be short. Short of what? It's just mm. short. <laughs> the green? Maybe on. Is that just short of the green? Yeah, I am, yeah maybe just on the front. That's where you've been all day. We got a chance to go for the green with an iron in our hands, which gets me a little, a little six to like 10.30, not quite midnight. I thought that was gonna kick left. <clears throat> Golf Digest Tiger, obviously yeah. that sounds like a dream gig. Is yeah. that sort of winding down? Feels over. Okay, so yeah. that, that happens. That You're happens. still kind of writing for him a little bit. Yeah, so he obviously, you know, the accident kind of ruined Closed of everything up yeah. a little bit. And I always kind of had one eye on the foreplay boys, to be honest with did you. Did you really? I did because I felt like they kind of existed half the yeah. eye space. Sure. Where I was doing like very much journalism, like golf coverage, PGA tour, and they were in it, but they weren't fully in it. So I felt like I could bring them something they didn't have. Yeah. No, which dude, was like yeah. boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. Contacts on tour, like a little bit more tour focused coverage. We were at his house and just like anything else, you know, drinking after a round sure. of golf and, and he was like, wouldn't it be like cool if you like worked with us? And I said, yeah, make me an offer. And then a couple months later, Bush didn't want me to come at all. He was so yeah, mad. Yeah, I, I could see it. He's got that body language. He hates him. when I do well. <laughs> he hates when I do well. Well, Yaman, um, I'm a long ass way away. You know what the sick part is? I feel better if I was 80 yards out right now. I, I feel better about getting this closer if I was 80 yards away than where I am right now. Go. Oh, it's got a little nippy on it. Sit, 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 sit. That's good, brother. Wow, a birdie! That's nice good. Shot. But I can't, what's we're talking about? I can't Euro. That's like the most anticlimactic good, birdie of all yeah. time. That's good. That's when you, you fake the Euro and you just go up with the left real quick. Yeah. You oh know? yeah, the little like, <laughs> yeah. the little like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean yeah. back, but then you just go that way. Yeah. yeah. Got a birdie oh, putt here to match his four. Just hit it harder. How's that eye doing? I don't feel great. <laughs> 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 Rappaport's got some pop, so you gotta wonder, does he go for this thing now? Probably drivable for the young man if he really gets a hold of it. Time will tell. <laughs> uh, hold there. There's some bunkers there. But it's fine, like, it's, it's fine. <sighs> I hate bunkers. Nope. Uh, back back yeah, just, just when you thought. <laughs> back I thought it was, did I bend back? Dude? I don't know. Oh. I might have missed one. No. So you come to foreplay. Yeah. 
and you know you're get sewered by the internet for the first four months i tweet that i'm joining i'm on the podcast and i start getting all these messages and that was an adjustment i mean you see you yeah guys, you're not know. getting anything when you write a golf digest or no there's not oh, like God. a your name you, on a page you tweet and people it's facts you're tweeting facts you're a name on so a page. there's no yeah it doesn't really so this is like you're finally kind of you yeah and it's, I mean, it's different because I feel like for whatever reason, I don't know if it's Barstool, I don't know if it's Foreplay kind of being one of the first, but like there's a lot of negativity in our universe that you guys don't really have. I'm feeling uh, a little fireball-y, but I'm feeling like I hope it's not in the bunker. If it's not in the bunker, then we're in a good spot with some, with some green to work with. Uh, 83 yards, rough. This is a thickish lie. Yeah, this is a big shot. Big shot. Mm. Just no, need no, no need to shy away from it. I'm not going to have it. Down straight, down straight. That was thick, man. That was thick shit. I didn't see where that went. Thank God that the dirt saved his ball from going in the bunker. Although oh. for him, he doesn't mind the bunker. Yeah, he likes, oh, it's right there. By the way, I don't know if it's not so necessarily sure we can find wrap here. All right, the door, is, the door is ajar. I wouldn't say necessarily it's open. This is kind of a thick one. Come on, Rappy. Come on, Rappy. Oh. oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, and he's just, he's, he's woeing him. He just dug at him. T -t 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 Teach me how to dug. Teach no, me how to dug. Everybody love you. Everybody love you. I don't see that dug. It feels a dug a lot. That is good for three. Wow. That was a really good shot by him. So I need to make this to win. We're up and down to tie. Oh, hit it nice. Oh, that is right in the zone where I, he's gonna look at me. He's gonna wanna know if it's good. It's his channel. I don't really know what to do. It's a competitive match. That's good, buddy. Wow, that's, good. that's big love right there. That's Two sides that's coming nice. together that's with the that's rain nice. that's, 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 that's great. Hey, you know what that does? The rematch. That's a tie. Yeah. And that opens us up to a little rematch. I think it's gonna we're gonna have to do best of seven, please. Now what are you doing at your place? You can do it at my place, there's no rules. All right, Binyamin, that's another episode of Perez Verse on Bob Does Sports. D rap. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Ty sets up a rematch, which low-key I'm pretty stoked on, it means I get to go to his place. So either LA or New York City, I'm getting on the plane for another rematch. Bob Does Sports. Yeah, Tick was standing pretty close to that fucking pin rap, there. Rap, of course, getting the ticket experience. You ain't gonna get much from him up there, Rap. <laughs> it looked really good, but... <laughs> yeah, no, we, we've tried to train him. Hey, could be in the woods, could be in the hole. <laughs> For all we know, you dumped it. <laughs> I feel like I've been in Virginia since last year. Me too, man. It does not seem like I'm actually... I feel like I'm an East Coast guy now. It's completely flipped the switch, Jet. Look at this guy. This guy's living the highlight. How's What's it going? How we doing? Good. Does the dog play doing? too? Mark, does the dog play too? Tough. Oh, it's a tough joke. Yeah, right? I mean, that's that's weak. <laughs>